All right, I'm gonna show you how to build this super easy, cheap uh, moving zombie using synchronous motors. One thing to keep in mind when building the zombie prop using synchronous motors, the more weight you have on top, the harder it is it's gonna turn because these motors are not strong. So I'm gonna break down this build of what we got going on. You start from the bottom, you make a little square base, like you can use USB board, OSB I meant, sorry. And then you put your two by fours up to make legs. Put the pants on now so you have your base, your two legs there. And then you're gonna put here for the hip um, using two by four. Um, you're going to have your synchronous motor here. The build um, for this attachment I'll include in my link. This is a, I think a 14 to 16 RPM uh, motor. You put your screws here so it'll move, hit, move, hit, move, hit. I have these on the side just to hold up the pants. I have this piece of wood holding against this because it was, it's not necessary. But I did it because it was just moving a little bit too much, so I wanted to stabilize it, but not necessary. So, motor, three-fourths cap, three-fourths pipe, three-fourths cross, a smaller pipe in between here, so it freely goes up and down, moves back and forth. Nail, I mean, a screw, screw here, so it, it can stay in place. You're going to put holes on each side of these put fishing lines or wire or whatever for string comes down connects to another pipe then you got some zombie hands here string pipe zombie hands so it will move and then on the top I have a one fourth pipe here connected so it will stay in place but it has wiggle room and this will allow the head to move back and forth. So when you put on when you put on the mask, that's what it's gonna look like. And now we'll put on the clothes. Best thing to use is a button up long sleeve shirt. So you could wrap around here. I'm using an old tong suit that I had. Um, but yeah, long sleeve button up shirt. Okay, pants are up. And this is what it looks like underneath. It kind of, you know, as it struggles to move, it will do erratic moves. And that's what we want. Um, I didn't want it to do a straight back, 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 back. This one, because of the resistance and everything, it, it gives it a more random like movement. Now a finishing touch you're gonna want with these is these MP3 sensor. You could, um, you upload whatever sound you want on it. So when someone comes, it will activate and that could give you, you know, you just get whatever zombie sound you want. There you go.